Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on um, repurposing a canvas. This is a canvas from a class I taught. Um, a girl was not into making her canvas and um, this is what she left behind. So I decided to reuse the canvas and um, in this particular video I was streaming live streaming with Nikki and so what I did was just cover it up with some gesso and just leaving lots of heavy streaks everywhere because that's what I was going for and but at the same time I didn't really have a plan but um, as I'm covering it I'm just trying to think of what to put on here um, and then I was just kind of fooling around and having fun with it so this is a good project if you don't know you don't have like something you want to paint but you want to just have fun with a piece I decided to um, just play blot paint on um, make a little pattern type of thing and then use it up after enjoy it um, kind of shape it at the end so yeah that's how this one turned out it was pretty fun as I'm talking with Nikki um, if you guys want to catch this one live it was on International Crafters um, YouTube I have no idea how long the original video is um, but I found this one and I thought I would record um, a quick little speed through of it for you guys today. So now I'm using premium art um, supplies here from Deco Art, and um, I cannot tell you the exact colors. I'm thinking I use some burnt umber. Uh, uh, what do I use? Different yellow tones and that kind of thing. Um, just because it was so long ago, and I did not write it down. But um, this was a fun project. I like to start off sometimes with a project with a kind of a yellow tone in the background. And because I didn't really know what I was doing, um, I was just playing with it. And um, so I started off after I did the gesso with that. So here I'm just kind of blopping some flowers that look kind of violet-y, violet I don't know. I think I was playing with color and seeing what I would get with it. Um, I didn't really have a plan. Like I said, I was just started making flowers everywhere. This is not kind of the thing I normally do when I'm painting. But it goes to show you that sometimes you can enjoy life and just start making marks and playing. It doesn't have to be flowers. It can be strokes. It can be any kind of thing. Clover. Oh, there's a painting I was showing of the chihuahuas I'm making for Coca-Cola. I did not know that was in there. So I was just kind of playing with it and making layers. Um, I think I was playing with a violet color, uh, probably mixing a little bit of red in there with it. And obviously here comes some more red colors for the flowers. But I'm just having fun with it, and this is a relaxing thing to do. I'm just layering up different um, highlights or hues. Here I'm putting a little bit of white. And this is kind of just a relaxing process that you guys can do to um, play around with, relax. Um, like I said, this is not painting a face or painting a scenery. This is just chilling and playing with paints and making... Um, a pattern right now what I'm doing. So here I'm making a little petals. I'm using, a, um, I'm sorry, not petals, but stems. And I'm using a palette knife. So I'm just playing. At this point I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just enjoying the process and kind of getting that art therapy thing happening here as I'm talking with Nikki. So that's all it is.
So as you can see, I'm just doing layers and playing with it and um, using a paper napkin to kind of just pounce on there and whatever. There's no right and wrong to it. I could be using stencils. I just thought I'd play with this, making centers in my flowers. And this looks very child play like and it was um, easy and fun. And you can do anything that you want. It doesn't have to be a certain standard or what you think um, what you think a painting should be. Just enjoy yourself. Here I'm making some greenery around it. And I'm still thinking, what am I going to do with this? This looks like wallpaper. But it was so fun doing because it was relaxing and kind of opening my imagination. Here I'm throwing in some like very light blue, like a baby blue type of thing on it. Like these colors I don't normally play with. And I'm just going with it. Playing and playing. And, and like I said, at this point I don't have a plan. And I think close to here I start thinking, hmm. What am I going to do with this? And then I decide that I'm going to make a topiary tree, as you can see at the beginning. So I just started um, deciding where I wanted the tree and I'm painting everything else kind of blue on the outside and decided that I'm going to make like a, a background, a, a ground, the sky, um, obviously the tree trunk and then I just went from there. Easy project, easy thing to make but it was really, uh, the process of it was really fun because it was relaxing and I got to kind of get my paint out and just play and sometimes it's worth what some people would think wasting paint sometimes it's worth it because you're enjoying it you're you're enjoying the process and you're relaxing and um, if you can't if you're only saving your paints for important projects you're never gonna really have fun with it I don't think if you notice I added the red flower in there and that little bit of a pop of red over there at the in my topiary tree I thought it would be an interesting piece to kind of catch the red color and then the eye move, catches that and moves around the canvas. I think it's pretty interesting. It gives it a, a point of reference, a point to start with and I uh, thought it was pretty cute. So that's what I did there. Here I decided I wanted to add some contrast, so 
like the color wheel I went the opposite from blue to red playing around with my background and just making it up as I go along and I really enjoyed this process this might not have been the most beautiful masterpiece but it was fun I still have the piece and um, it looks pretty cute I think it's neat it's interesting and it's got different layers different paint strokes different um, lighting on there and just things that pop out when you look at it closely and I think it's a very interesting um, painting it's not flat it's not boring and um, you can't get that with just an idea of making one layer and um, the process that I did really changes everything it changes the depth of your painting and that kind of thing so try it play around with it I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will talk to you all soon thank you guys so much for watching